What's going on guys, it is Devo here. I'm going to be showing you how you can go ahead and parallel your guys the fastest way possible. And that will be the show 21. So in this new year of Elm of the Show 21, they introduced parallels, and what are parallels? Basically they are prestigious from last year, but for every single player. And the good thing about them is you can rack up stats with any single player in the game. It can be a common, it can be a diamond, it doesn't matter, and they're still going to get boosted by the parallel level you are in. So if we take a look at this Ernie Banks, he is a 94 stock card, but since he has a parallel 2 on him, he is a 96 overall. Basically you just take every single stat and add plus 2 to him. So he'll have 83 contact versus right, the 125 is the max versus contact versus left, he'll have 95 power versus right, 102 power versus left, you get the idea. It's really, really cool, and you can get a total of 5 boosted sets once you super fracture them, which is parallel level 5. And let's take a look here at the parallel tab. As you can see here, we are at 1966 player XP. We need to get to 3000 again to parallel 3, and a total of 10,000 you need again to parallel 5, which is the max. The way you get parallel XP for offensive players, for each plate appearance you get 10, a single you get 5, a double you get 10, a triple you get 20, a home run you get 20. Each run you score with him is 5, an RBI is 5, 5 is for stolen base as well, and you get 5 for a walk. If you play in online game modes such as ranked seasons, events, or battle royale, the multiplier will be 1.5 for the player XP. If you play all fine modes such as conquest, play versus CPU, or extra innings, it'll just be a standard 1 times for the player XP. So that was the offensive parallel system. Let's take a look at the defensive one real quick. Let's take a look at Jacob DeGrom. He's at parallel two. So technically, not counting the inside edge, he'd be up to 95 overall. And all his stats will have a plus two boost. So if we take a look at the parallel tab for pitchers, every innings pitched is 20. Every win is 10. Every strikeout is five. I think QS stands for quality start. So that's five as well. Every save is 10. Every hold is five. Complete game is 10. And shutouts are 15. And once again, same rules apply. Online modes get you a 1.5 multiplier. All five modes just stick to the standard one. It's not that difficult to go ahead and parallel your starters or your offense players. But the closing pitchers, it seems pretty difficult. Not going to lie. If we take a look at Eric Gagne, one of the guys I probably use the most. Only 10 innings pitched. But if we take a look at his parallel, he's not even close to parallel one. He's still... 200 points away so a little over halfway but still it's gonna be pretty difficult to parallel your closers especially because you're not gonna be pitching in many innings with them as opposed to the rotation guys so basically you're gonna go ahead and parallel your guys as you play especially when you play online or conquest what do you want to go ahead and do but if you want to stick to a specific player to parallel let's just say for us in this case we'll go ahead we'll try and do byron buxton alfonso soriano and we'll work on steve finley okay you're gonna have them as your top three players as we do right here buxton is one Soriano is 2 and Finley is 3 and then we can just go ahead and load into a CPU game play the first three quit out and just keep on doing that over and over again so you maximize the plate appearances the hit potential the home run potential and the RBI potential so we're going to go ahead hop into play versus CPU game real quick just going to pick our first pitcher if you want to face a lefty it's not that good play against the Orioles all right play against the Orioles it'll, it'll be John Means on the mound I believe that's who it should be I think he's number one in their rotation yes John Means a silver so not going to be that good you're on rookie too so the PCI is going to be good and big and you're going to be able to hit the ball very very easily all right so Buxton is up first here we go that's going to be a double for Buxton I'm stretching it too no matter what I'm setting him to two I, we might be able to go ahead and get it if we slide around the tag. Do we slide around? And he just kept going for some reason. But it doesn't really matter because we got the double. We got the extra base hit. So that is even more player XP towards Buxton. Now we're up with Soriano. And if we get another double, even better. If we get a home run, even better than that. As you can see here, John Means threw a curveball low. Not, don't swing it there, okay? Wait for a pitch. They're going to throw your strike. They're going to throw you strike just like that, and that should be in the same spot as Buxton. That's not going to be a double no matter what. So I'll stay with him at first and try and score him with Steve Finley up now, because if I get the run, it's even better than just getting a double. And something you can go ahead and do is if you have a speedster on the bases, you want to go ahead and level up. Go ahead and try and steal a base with him. Steal a base or two. There's even more XP you can go ahead and get. Also trying to go ahead and parallel Acuna if I can. I like him. Just... If he gets a high overall, I'll use him a lot throughout the year until I get Trout at least. Because once I get Trout, he's really going to be in my outfield for a while. Especially if I parallel him to a 99 overall. I don't think he's going to leave my outfield all year. There's no reason that he would have to. But we're going to try and parallel Cunha for the time being. If John Means can just throw us a pitch in the strike zone for once. We can go ahead and slap a hit in the gap. 
here we go. 2-0 to Ronald Acuna. Throws a strike. And that's gone. That that should be gone. I got a pretty good PCI on that ball. I swung it out of the strike zone, but still, Ronald Cunha sends that over the fence. Who's up next? Is it worth trying to practice? Cody Ballinger, I'll still try as well. He's my first baseman right now. And Cody Ballinger gets his bat snapped in half, but he's going to beat out that for an infield single. A swinging bun by Cody Ballinger. Who's up now, Ernie Banks? We'll swing it with him as well. Really, if you have a lot of guys in your lineup, you can just play the CPU game the whole way. Then you can work on your pitchers as well. Is that going to get out? It's not going to get out. That was not good contact on the ball. But like I was saying, if you have a lot of players in your lineup, you want to go ahead and try and parallel. You don't want to play ranked seasons, go ahead and do it. Just play a play for CPU game. Or do Conquest. I know I'm saying, well, I know I do say that Conquest is not fun. It's not worth it at all because it's boring and all that. But if you're trying to parallel someone, then that makes it even more worth it because you're going to get the rewards from Conquest. I knew the, I know the second inning Conquest just dropped um, when the second inning program dropped. Go ahead and do that. You get a ball and pack at the end as well as a show pack bundle. Go ahead and do that. Or there's a Mother's Day Conquest dropping today. I'm recording this on Mother's Day, you're seeing this on Mother's Day. So a new conquest job for that. Go ahead and do that. Because you're getting the innings done with your players, you're getting the play appearances, you're getting the innings pitched with your pitchers. It's a win-win situation for your whole squad. So we're gonna go ahead, finish out this last inning. Gonna gonna get a full inning with DeGrom, why not? It's even more player XP towards him. I'm trying to get him done. If I can what's he a 93 at the time? I think he's a 93 right now. If I can get him to a 98 overall. That's crazy. I know he doesn't have a sinker or a cutter, unfortunately, so not going to have the best pitches to go ahead and use, but still one of the best pitchers in the game right now. Tom Glavin as well. going to try and parallel him because if he gets a 99 overall, I don't think I'm going to take him out for a while because a 99 overall Tom Glavin with a sinker, I think he has a cutter as well. One of the best pitchers in the game right now, and he's going to be one of the best pitchers for a while. And speaking of best pitcher, I think Tom Glavin actually is the best pitcher in the game. I don't know who else would be better than him. I know Frank Tanyana is definitely not better than him because what I've heard is Frank Tanyana gets absolutely shelled online. We went ahead, loaded out of that game right after the first inning, and you also get some XP as you go. 620 XP. I mean, you're not doing it for the XP, so it's just an added bonus. We'll take it. Always just trying to work on these parallels. Really love that they added them to the game this year. A game-changing feature. All right, boys, so that's the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you guys go ahead, go parallel your guys. It's really, really awesome to go ahead and do, because you can use your favorite cards for a while now in this year. You can add five overalls to their card. Next thing you know, they're an endgame card. All right, boys, if you enjoy this video drop a like that helps push out the video to tons and tons of more people comments and future video ideas you want to go ahead and see and subscribe to the channels so we're on the road to 1400 subscribers the time making this video we're like 20 away so we're we're almost there we'll probably hit it by tomorrow probably by monday night hopefully and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace